what is up guys welcome back to the channel i feel like i'm saying this every video but it's gonna be a little bit of a different video um i'm gonna be doing an unboxing of some shoes that i bought from goat uh i bought them used because i didn't want to pay resale uh for a new pair a new pair as opposed to a used pair that was worn like once so um here we go Okay, we've got some paper and shoes. Um, yeah, so they are a Nike SB Dunk High uh, in the Tropical Teal colorway. Um, but they look pretty new. I mean, if I bought these in the store, I probably would not be disappointed. There's a little bit of dirt. It looks like someone wore them like one time. But um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, here we go. Uh, we got a little tag. It says goat verified and it has it says authentication and it lists a bunch of different things like structure color material stitching sole label and tag and they punch through all of them just so you know and then the quality control the size the um that you get a right and left shoe the shoe condition the box condition and the accessories that's that's cool um i've never really bought shoes at resale before so i i don't really know how that works but um these are looking really good um yeah so I guess we're going to cut to like an on-feet shot now. Okay, so I just got right back from wearing them outside. You saw that uh, on feet footage one second ago. And now I'm gonna go through my first impressions. Um, as usual, I'm gonna go from the upper and work my way down. Um, first, we got the upper. It's like a suede material. I'm not an expert on suede. I know nothing about it, but it seems fine. I don't know that Nike SB is using the most premium material ever in their sneakers, but I think it works. Um, there's a lot of padding around this ankle collar which is mostly so like if you do skateboard, which I'm not gonna do because I don't skate, um, it'll like protect you from, from the skateboard hitting your ankle. And tongue is padded. Um, it's got a tag on it here that says, Nike and the swoosh name and the stripe are trademarks and your guarantee of quality. And then it says that and I think what is French and it says Nike SB Dunk High Pro. Um, got this little thing on the back. I think it's supposed to be like one of those um, pull tabs, but it's way too small to be a pull tab. I don't know why it's there, but I don't mind it. I think it looks fine. Um, then we've got the panels. Um, this panel here, uh, mid midfoot panel, like a toe panel, and then like the toe cap panel. Um, they're all, I believe, the same. Nothing really to say there. Like a fake leather textile swoosh. Feels fine. Um, and that's pretty much it for for the upper. I don't really have much else to say. It's a pretty comfortable, it's definitely a very comfortable upper um, padding and um, the inside here is very soft. And then let's work our way down the midsole. There isn't really a midsole per se. It's more like a rubber cup sole, like you would find a lot of other sneakers, like the Stan Smiths. Um, but you do have like an insole that has the air zoom unit right here and some like padded foam right there and that makes it pretty comfortable. Throw this back in. And so I guess that moves us to the outsole, which is also, I guess, the midsole here. You've got sort of like this cup sole stitched in. Um, I don't know if it's stitched and glued or just stitched, probably both. Um, the midsole has got a little yellowing, 
but you know, I would expect that from a shoe that's this age. I believe these came out in like 2013. So that's um, pretty good because most of it is still pretty white. Uh, there's a little bit of contrast between like the white laces and the midsole, but I don't really care. I think lace are gonna get dirty soon enough uh, of me wearing them. And then the outsole, um, so I bought them used. There's a little dirt on the outsole and because I walked outside right over there. Uh, just a regular Nike SB Dunk outsole. Nothing special there. Um, I like that they had, they included the little yellow panel in there to match um, the upper. Really, that's it. Um, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention was that I did buy them um, for $125 on GOAT, um, plus like the shipping and the fees. Bought it up a little more, but um, I thought that was a really good price based on the resale price um, for a dead stock pair, which was like $300. And I'm, I was like, I'm not gonna pay that. So I'm really happy with these. Um, yeah. First impressions are that these are pretty comfortable. They're not the softest or the most comfortable in the midsole necessarily, but I really like the upper. Um, and that's really all I have to say so far. Maybe I'll do a review that's more like a, after wearing for a month or something like that, if you guys like that. I definitely wanna trend this channel a little bit more toward general stuff instead of trail running. I'm definitely not gonna be trail running in these. These are more like a casual shoe. Um, and you know, uh, more, doing more sneaker reviews. If I had enough subscribers, maybe I'd start a second channel for just sneaker stuff as opposed to sneaker and trail running. But 24 of you out there, thank you so much for watching. 24 subscribers. Um, if any of you like this video and you want more content or your sneakerhead who also happens to like trail running, please subscribe, uh, and like this video. If you didn't like the video, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you wanted me to do better. And that's really all I have to say. Uh, this is very different from any of my other videos, but if you want to check them out, please do. Um, and thank you.